Hey, what's going on YouTube? Today I'm going to show you how to get the best store with many applications for Fire Stick from movies, TV shows. But the focus of this video is going to show you how to speed up your Fire Stick and how to scan for viruses and crypto mining software that might be running in the background of your Fire Stick. What that means is, is, is basically you're mining coins and things like that using your resources without even knowing because you're running a virus. Um, so today I'm going to show you how to get rid of those viruses, how to scan for them. And also I'm going to show you how to install unlinked. So basically we're killing, you know, I don't really like killing birds, but, uh, you know, we're killing one, uh, we're killing two birds with one stone really. Uh, so let's get going. I'll show you how to do this on fire stick device. This works on any Amazon fire stick device. So the first thing you want to do is you want to go to gear icon and you want to make sure you've got developer options on. So click on my fire TV. And I do have developer options, but some of you may not have it. So click on about and you'll see your device name. Click on it eight times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This enables developer options. Okay. This is the first thing we've got to do to install unlinked. Okay. I'm going to press the home button. And once we do that, we can now proceed going to find, and we're going to search for an application called downloader. Click into it and I can use the Alexa remote or you can type it in downloader. We're going to search for downloader. Once there, we're going to click on downloader. Okay. Followed by download. And that's going to download the downloader application. Okay. So let's not open it up yet once we get it. Okay. And let's hit the home button. And followed by the gear icon. Now let's go to my fire TV and then let's go to Fire Stick 4K Max, you can see developer options are on already. Okay, let's click back and then you'll see the developer options here. In the main menu of My Fire TV or My Device, click on the developer options, click Install Unknown Apps, and make sure you turn on Downloader. Okay, once we're done that, very simple, straightforward. Let's go back and let's go straight to My Apps and Games. Okay, and let's go into Downloader. Okay. And once here, let's press the OK button, go up here and type in unlinked. Dot link. Okay. Type in unlinked dot link. Okay. Press the go button. And that's going to connect and it's going to take you to the unlinked website. Okay. Once there, click on download APK Android and it's going to connect and it's going to come up with this. We're going to press the install button to install the unlinked application. And once finished, let's press the done button. Don't press open button, just press the done button. Press the delete button and press the delete button to delete that. Okay. Once you're done that, let's hit the home button. Okay. Once you're done that installing the unlinked application, you simply want to go to the gear icon from the first step and you want to go to my fire TV and you want to make sure unlinked is turned on as well. Press the home button and now you're ready to use unlinked. To avoid any issues when using unlinked, make sure you use a VPN. Uh, any VPN will do. I'm using IP vanish and I'll show you here. I'll open it up. I'm connected here to IP vanish and I'm using IP vanish. It's available here. You won't scan the barcode or go to this bit link here. Also pin comment in the description. It'll give you a big discount and it's available in the Amazon store. You can install it very easily. That's going to give you access to unlink. I highly recommend using a VPN. Okay. So let's press the home button. Okay. Any other VPN works as well. So if you have any other VPN, you can turn that on. Okay. Go to my apps and games. And let's start up unlinked. Click on the unlinked application. I'm going to give you a little code, say new library, click into here and put in the code fire stick. Okay. So let's put in fire stick. Okay. Press the next button 
and don't enter the store yet. Don't press enter. Just take a picture of the screenshot. This is going to tell you which apps are good for movies and TV shows. I update this list every single two, three weeks. It's going to give you the best apps right there. But today we're focusing on speeding up your Fire Stick and making sure it works properly and getting kind of unlinked installed to get those tools from the unlinked store. Okay. Once you're, you know, done taking a look at this, simply just enter my store by pressing the enter button. Scroll down to the Fire Stick tools. You'll see that I have a several tools here. Today we're going to focus on Task Kill Fire Stick. This tool is going to kill all the apps in the background to speed up our Fire Stick. If it's sluggish, we can use that. Okay, so let's click on Task Kill Fire Stick. Press the download. Remember, you can install any other applications by clicking up and down, even the movie ones, TV shows ones, whatever you like in my store, by scrolling up and down and getting those apps and installing them. Okay, once you're done that, click Install App and that's going to Pull this up, press the install button, and this is going to install fast task switch here, okay? Now, we're going to make sure we don't have those viruses and stuff like that. We're going to get virus total. Very good application. Pre click download, and we're going to install and download virus total, okay? So we got task kill fire stick, and we got virus total installed on our fire stick, and I'll show you how to use these tools to stay safe and make sure your fire stick is not sluggish and slow. Okay, we got those tools. Like I say, you can scroll up and down, get all the stuff for movies and TV shows you wish. That's available as well in my store. You can come back to my store at any time by going to My Apps and Games, followed by going into the unlinked application. Very easy to do, okay? Now, I'll show you Virus Total, and I'll show you Fast Task Kill Switch. Let's look at Fast Task Kill Switch, okay? As you can see, you just have to click on it. It kills all these unnecessary thing on your fire stick clears them out of the memory and it makes it run much faster okay that's all just a one click app very easy to use to make sure we don't have any viruses click on the virus total uh, simply agree to the terms and press scan and that's all it's going to do it's going to go in the background and it's going to scan your fire stick it's going to make sure you don't have any viruses or trojans that are mining crypto or causing your fire stick to slow down okay and not only that after showing you these two tools and showing you the scan of this. I'm also going to show you some options that we can turn off on the Fire Stick to get it set up, to get it set up properly for you and get it running the way you want. As you can see, it shows me all the stuff. Uh, it scanned 77 total files and it detected nothing. That's good news. Uh, system is all good as well. Um, nothing, nothing that is red and screaming at us saying be careful, right? So virus total, uh, this is some news, this news option at the bottom here, but you can go to the Android icon to get to see your users, uh, user app and thing like, things like that, okay? Very easy tool to use, not much in the settings, uh, very simple. It just scans whatever you have installed and it tells you if there has been any errors or any issues with this stuff, okay? Uh, very easy to use, very nice tool and Virus Total is going to keep you scanned, going to keep you protected. I highly recommend it for your Fire Stick and also the Task Kill. Okay. So another thing on your Fire Stick you might want to do if you're new to Fire Sticks is you might want to go to the gear icon. Okay. Followed by a couple of things here you have. Go to Preferences. Okay. And Privacy Settings. Manage Sharing from Apps. Off. Okay. Device usage data, we're going to turn it off. And collect app usage data, we're going to turn it off. Interest-based ads, we're going to turn it off. And we're going to click back. Those are some of the stuff I highly, highly recommend uh, turning off. Um, featured content, it's annoying. It plays those featured content in the main screen of the Fire Stick. I would turn that off and turn autoplay off. Sometimes it screams in your face when you have that banner ad running and it'll just... It's just very annoying. I turned that off, okay? Uh, time zone language, pretty much it. Data usage monitoring, notification settings, do not interrupt. You can turn that on. That's not going to give you any notifications. Uh, up to you. I'd keep, it, uh, I'd keep it on. And those are pretty much the only things I would do. And make sure you always you get all the updates and all the things like that, okay? And if you want to access Unlinked, you would go here. And you can access Unlinked at any time, okay? Make sure you run the VPN if you're using Unlinked. Uh, VPN is also very important. 
Uh, this discount is available here. You can scan the barcode or the Bitly link to get your VPN set up. If you already have a VPN, turn it on. It's good to say, stay protected when using uh, some of these third-party apps in, that you can find in my Unlink store and uh, accessing the Unlinked is making it easier as so many service providers are blocking it. Thank you. And that's pretty much it. A little quick video on how to kind of get your Fire Stick scanned for viruses. Make sure you can speed it up really, make it run nice. And, uh, you know, how to access Unlink store to get any third-party apps if you wish to do that step as well. Okay. I got many videos on that. So you can check, I just type in uh, jail, uh, new tech jailbreak on YouTube and you'll find so, so many of my videos that I take you through the entire process how to get those third party apps. Okay, thank you guys for watching. Thank you for being here. Drop a comment below what city and town you're from, uh, what food you like, what's your favorite sports team, just anything. I would highly appreciate it. Thank you guys and ladies for watching. Uh, let me know if this was helpful. Let me know if I missed anything. Is there anything else I should do? Let's help each other as a community and comment below. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you for being here. I'll see you all in the next one. Take care.